Hello, Jonathan Bear here, acting as Mercury's Messenger, and this is a show, Random Stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hello, everyone. So, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a topic I, I don't really care to get into. I've kind of briefly um, talked about it in, in past videos. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up is... Uh, People from my hometown here that uh, I've known for years uh, put a post on Facebook, and everyone's, you know, all all the people from my community are are talking about it. Um, the 9/11 attacks, in you know, and there's the conspiracy theorists, and there's uh, uh, you know the oh this has been debunked, uh, drop it kind of kind of deal, right? There's those two sides. When I was, you know, I personally feel like it was uh, an inside job orchestrated event. But it's not something that I went into that conversation saying. Because really, I don't want to pick right or left, you know. I, I basically, uh, I did comment in the post. Um, trying to say, you know, the answers are in numerology, astrology, and the occult, or, or whatnot. Um, also basically saying that the stories about separation, so the, so whether it, ha uh, whether it was an inside job or not, um, it was about division, and so the only way to really battle division is, uh, unity, cooperation, uh, kind of, kind of idea, right? Um, yet, yet you still have both, uh, both sides, um, which is what I, I encourage to drop and walk that middle, middle line. But w one thing about the whole 9-11 thing, okay, is building seven, right? Building seven, whenever, ever someone brings that up, n no one in the debunking community uh, will engage in that, in that number, uh, building number seven, right? No one has anything to say, uh, on it. They just rather ignore it altogether. And so, like I was saying, the answers are in numerology, astrology, and the occult, okay? So the numerology of number seven, I'm going to read it to you off my tablet here, um, Rather than, than display it, I don't have internet at my camp, so uh, I, I unfortunately can't just display it for you. But you just numerology 7 on Google and it'll bring you right there. So anyways, the numerology of number 7. Number 7 is the seeker. The number 7 uh, is the thinker, the searcher of truth. And then it says in brackets there, notice the capital T on truth, okay? The seven doesn't take anything at face value. It always, it is always trying to understand the underlying hidden truths, okay? So I personally think there is no coincidence uh, about number seven being right in our face, uh, this building number seven being right in our face, yet the only people who are actually acknowledging building number seven are the seekers and those who are willing to uh, think and contemplate about what happened rather than just take uh, it as face value. And right, number seven doesn't take anything at face value. They try and find the underlying hidden truths, okay? Um, and that's basically what I wanted to uh, get to, okay? Um, in a past video, I'm also going to just touch on this. In a past video, I talked about the Tower of Babel, Exodus, 9-11, and so on. And I was really thinking about how, you know, the Tower of Babel, 90 one rather than nine one one right so line x line yet um nine eleven is line xx line 
So the Tower of Babel happened after the Great Flood period. So uh, I'm without researching it, uh, I'm assuming because the Bible claims our age is like 6,500, well, 6,000 years or whatever. 6,000 years ago would have been um, the age of Gemini, okay? And before Gemini would have been Cancer. Now, Gemini is about duality. Um, so I'm thinking the Great Flood is actually quite a bit older, is probably the age of Cancer, Cancer being a water sign, first of all, okay? And, and so there was one X in the age of Cancer, but then came the age of, of Gemini. Now is why there's 911, 911. The 1 1 is Gemini duality. Um, and I also think that the X's uh, further the. Um, I'll use the word confusion uh, because line X, X represents Saturn. Saturn is our karmic choice. Now with the two X's, we almost feel like we have to choose one or, you know, we have to choose right or left. When we don't have to choose right or left, we can choose what we came here to create ourselves and, and focus on that line, that path, you know. Don't worry about what's happening over here. Don't worry about what's happening over there. Acknowledge it, but don't put your energy in it. Put your energy into what you want to create in this world. That's creating solutions. Um, and that's the only way that we're gonna fix this, you know, is if we stop participating in the left and right and we just focus on what we wanna create and, and the solutions that we can create and manifest to make this world a better place. So that's my video. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys all soon. Bye now.